All right, guys, welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Line. We started this recording a little early uh, before we're actually in the draft because we're letting you know this is a stipulation draft. The stipulation is that we're going to cover the picks. Um, we're going to draft them all to the sideboard, hide. Oh, we can't actually hide the whole thing. That's sad. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay. Um, yeah, that's bad. That's That changes things. Can we hide the sideboard? I don't think so. All right. Well, seems so complicated. It does seem really complicated. Actually, I guess we can throw something over the sideboard. So we're gonna draft. I'm gonna pick something, and unbeknownst to Mike, and then Mike is gonna pick something unbeknownst to me, and we're gonna draft a deck, and we're never gonna see, um, the picks, and that's gonna be the way it goes. So you can't look. All right. Close, Close your eyes. Eye. I'll let you know when to look. How about that? Okay. Sure. And I am gonna put a thing. I'll cover the sideboard. But when you when you draft, you got to right click and go to uh, what do you call it? You got to right click and hit add to sideboard. Okay. Okay. Sure. I guess you can. You can probably still see that there. Eh, maybe you can't. All right. All right. Right click, add to sideboard, and then close your eyes. Here's your okay. mouse. All right. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. Mouse is in front of you. All right. Um... When you hit right click. And yeah, add to sideboard, got, then just you. close your eyes after that, and I'll find the mouse and get all that. I have no idea. This is, this is actually ridiculous. This is great, though. I think we found a way to make it work, so this is good. Let us know in the chat if this is actually working, because... Uh, did you right-click out of sideboard? All right, your turn. Okay. Wow. All right. See, now you go, we also have to remember what we picked. Like, I have to remember my first pick. Yes. And then I have no idea what Mike's second pick would be. <laughs> also, in the in the, um, in the the chat, don't give away what... Yeah, don't talk about yeah. what you picked. Oh, emote, emote only mode. That's interesting. Who did that? Who did that? All right. Once you click add to sideboard, good to go. All right. This is great though, because like you open a pack and you have no frame of reference as to what it could be, like what you could be I can taking. Only based off my my pick. Right, that's said. true. So we could have literally two completely different decks, and I could take a, a land or like a dual land and be like, "Oh, this goes all well with my picks," and it has actually nothing, nothing to do with your picks. Man, this is this is great though. I'm enjoying the stipulation so far already. Done. All right. Hmm. All right, these have been pretty easy for me so far. I'm going to take... Oh, oh, never mind. I saw this. Okay. All right, we did good. Wow, I almost missed the card. Your turn. What a dummy. Me? Yeah. <laughs> you got there. Close. Oh, you're just, you're getting there. All right. Nailed now, it. now I'll think about a card I want to pick. Nailed it. Can you still see the timer? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Go can you that. see the sideboard or no? No, totally. It's totally blank. Nice. This pack is garbage. <laughs> My last pack was very good. I almost picked right, something wrong. Good to go. Okay. Don't be cheating. I'm not. I'm not cheating. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one a lot. Apparently all your picks have been good. My picks have been subpar. Yeah, I've been getting the good ones, boy. Here you go. All right. Oh my this is gonna this is great. This is a quality co this is some quality content right here. This is also something you can never do with a format like Rivals of Ixalan or Ixalan or like Kaladesh. Like you just can't do this with non cube formats. Huh. Huh. Wow. Wow. Done. All right, yeah, that sideboard's looking, looking. <laughs> look at this. Uh, don't look. You can't look, so don't be cheating. I'm not. I'm not. I did not cheat there. I did not. I did bullshit. not peek. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> oh man. Let me know when you're done. I'll let you know. I don't need your sass. Oh, this could actually be very good. Consider. I don't know what he has, but I know what I have. <laughs> I did not. 
Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. I don't like it. Oh, maybe. Don't be cheating. I'm not. I'm God. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not cheating. I did not do it. All right. There you go. Yeah, once you hit when you hit add to sideboard, synchronize that with closing your eyes at the same exact time, and you'll never you'll never see. You can never see it. Europe. What about Europe? Uh, it's a place. Tell me more about Europe. Not typing now, are we? Huh. Well, the pack hasn't come up yet, so I'm waiting. Don't you be cheating, though. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, uh, okay, I thought that was a reasonable thing to request, but all right. Wrong. Wow, this one this one took a while. You were this is a quick pick for you. Yeah, it wasn't very hard. That's what she said. That's a good one, right? It's pretty good. Still nothing yet. Still no no pack open yet. Oh, I'm waiting. I'll just take a nap. All right, we got a we got a pick. Um, Hello, darkness, my old friend. My name is Mike Barbobbly Boo. Mike Barbobbly Boo. That's all you can come up with. Shut up, man. I'm trying to pick. I gotta, this is hard. Okay. All yours. All right. You are a big dumb bitch and it's okay. Are you taking a drink? <sighs> yes. Wow, man. Well, well, get a load of this aristocrat over here. Well, I have an ice cold beverage here while I draft on my Ooh, magic. table. Nice. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if you're going to see the same packs, and I'm going to see the same packs. Uh, there's. 15. Well, you said it tabled, so you obviously saw that yeah, pack. Yeah, I've seen that pack before. Yeah. So I'm going to. The next pack is going to be mine. So yeah. That's interesting. Oh, this guy tabled too. Wow, that was great. All right, all yours. Oh man, that was the guy I was going to pick accidentally, and then I found the better card. But then I was still still got him. Let's get a little old ice ice crunchy McCruncherton over here. Nope, oh, oh, I didn't put it in the sideboard. Hold on. Just move it. You can right click it. Whatever. I saw the last pick. My bad. You saw my last pick? Yeah, but I mean, there's there's nothing we can really do about that. Can I can I go now? Yeah, yeah you're good. Why is this stupid student of warfare here? Just click move to the sideboard. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Oh, yeah, is it that guy? It could be this guy. Ooh, how about that guy? Oh, what about this guy? I think it's this guy. This is ridiculous. How did you see the last pick? That's weird. Because it happened too fast. Oh, you mean the the very last pick, not yes. my last pick. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It was just random anyway. It was a student warfare you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I thought you meant you saw the card. If you saw the card that I picked, it's worse because then you have an idea of what I'm doing. Which no, may... I didn't see anything you picked. Okay, that's perfect then. Yeah, all right, cool. I just saw the very last card in the pack. I think I'm totally taking this guy. Okay, we did it. All right. Yeah, also, if you accidentally pick it to the main deck, just right-click and go add to sideboard there. And then it just goes to the sideboard. This is this is this draft is intense, dude. I have no idea what like half of our deck looks like. <laughs> oh boy! Well, I've never been able to pass this card before, and I'm not doing it now. Oh my god! Oh, it's so greedy. It's the greediest thing of all. Time. Maybe it's not though. Who knows? I'm doing it. I actually don't know what that is. All right, here you go. I can't tell you. I know. I don't want you to, but I, I think that's interesting. Because his name is Michael Barbobbly Boo. Oh, this is a good land. This is actually a good pick. Um, yeah, that's fine. 
Not exciting, but it'll do. Done? Yep, all yours. A little Mitchy. Uh, what is happening is we are uh, blind picking our drafts, and we're going one by one. So I pick a card, and he picks a card. But I have no idea what he's picked so far, and he has no idea what I've picked, because they're all going to the sideboard, which is covered for us. So half of the draft is completely unknown to me, and half of it is completely unknown to him. And then we get to build a deck after this, which is actually... Oh, boy. Awesome. I also forgot my picks from the first pack. <laughs> I forgot my picks from the first pack, he says. Oh, man. Depending on what you pick, there's a couple good cards in here, but I have no idea. So maybe they're all terrible for our deck. I have no idea. We're either going to have one really good deck or or two really bad decks. God, what was the card you said? I, I've never passed this before. I'm not going to now. What the hell did you take? I'll tell you once we're done. Oh, I know. I don't want you to tell me now. I can't even tell you until after, after we're totally done. God, I know what I have, but I have no idea what you have. And it could be so... <laughs> Yeah, it could be so good or so bad. I hope bad. we both stick to one color and it all works out. And we just have a two-color deck. Oh, if we each stick to one color, that would be actually a really yeah, good idea. I haven't actually done that so far, so um, uh, it's not going to work out. All right, I'm going to take this. Good, I got it. All yours. All right. Oh, my God. Ooh. The hardest thing is picking lands. Like, you just basically can't even pick lands unless they're just for your colors. But that means you have more than one color, which is all, already a, a nightmare. Or maybe it's good. I don't know. <laughs> Could be great for me. You never know. I guess so. Ooh, what if you open power? Ooh, oh, we have a whole other pack after this left? <sighs> that guy sucks. I'm just taking this. Here you go. Let's <laughs> take a random card that oh, could wow, be this, terrible. Oh, wow. This pack really came good. up quick. Um, I think we take this because of some of the other things we've taken so far. Who knows? Literally, who knows? All right, let's do it. All yours. You heard me right. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, it just takes a while. There's oh no, I just did, uh, yeah. Okay, I didn't hear the I didn't hear the mouse move, so I was like, I hope he heard me. No, oh, he's taking a drink again. Here we go. Modern convenience is this guy. I like to quench my thirst while I wait. You're up. Oh my god. This is the best thing I this is the best thing I've ever felt. This is the best like this is the best draft I've ever done. I have a feeling we're gonna have one really awkward pick. You're a really awkward pick. Wow. We also have to make sure that we don't accidentally click on OBS too. Yeah, I mean you're not gonna do that. I probably won't do I'm that. I'm crazy, either. you don't know. I'll I'll click everything on your desktop. Tanos with the sub to wall. Nice. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome as usual. I guess it could be this. I'm Maybe. trying to stick to like what I've already drafted and not branch too far out because I don't want to go crazy. No, man, have fun. I, oh, I'm having. I think having fun is like having a playable deck. All right, all yours. God, we have a whole other pack after this too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Should I look? Should I help you out? No. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Oh, there you go. Your oh, turn. All right. This is good times. Taunus, you are awesome, dude. Oh. Is any of this good? I don't know. Karakong, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. You are awesome. Welcome to the Sun High Brood. Uh, I guess it's this. I have no, utterly no idea. Here you go. All yours. Oh my god. Once you get to these last packs, you really have no idea. You're there like, you maybe I could play this. I have no idea. It definitely does feel longer, yeah. I, I That's definitely true. Ooh. I'm taking some random fixing, and I have no idea if it's good. All right, all yours. I'm surprised. Yeah, screw it. Let's get greedy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's your first pick, right? Yeah. You should have been last pick. Okay, there's a there's a card in the deck. Um, it, mouse is yours. 
Um, it was the la- it was the very last pick, so it has no bearing on either of us. So we can just right. put it in the sideboard. Really yeah, but if I did that, I would I'd be able to see the, the cards in this pack. So. <sighs> oh man, is that card good? Oh, it could be so good. Is it worth the risk? <laughs> no idea what it is. I want to take that just hoping that you've you've. It this, works out with your picks. I might even go back and watch this on YouTube just to see what you took. That's actually this actually seems awesome. It's got to be that. We got to do this again. This seems this one this seems like a great stipulation. I want. All right, I'm gonna take the card that seems better for my picks. Uh, okay, your turn. Oh God. Uh, it's such a misplay if you're in the color I think you're in. Oh man. Oh God! What did he do? Ice Pass, arguably one of the best cards, depending on what you have. I should have took it. That was bad. I'm going to take this card because I it's one of my favorite cards. This one's also very good, but I think it's this. All right, all yours. Man, you're having so much first pick regret, dude. First, it's, t- it's difficult. You're right. Especially when you only have 50% information about your deck. You're up. Oh, that was fast. You're like a ninja. I see cards, I take them. I'm a simple man. I see cards, I take them. Knowing what I have, I'm going to take this. Or this. This actually gets... It gets... It totally gets... Yeah, this is a great idea. Yeah, this is actually a blast. I can't even handle this right now. Wall 6996 with the five Mikey motes. <laughs> oh, God, Mike, dude. What do we have? What is our deck, dude? <laughs> something. Oh, Lord. It's definitely half of something. So, you know. I think it's this. Okay, here you go. Oh, that was that was that was like the hardest pick, I think. Ooh, what if he had the other half of this combo? Oh God, what if I, I don't? Wonder. Wait, what do you? What if you have it, or what if I have what it? What if you have it? I couldn't say. I'm just gonna take the good card. You're up. These are these are these are popping quick. I took a couple of those cards. So I feel like we're pretty safe there. That's very nice of you. I think it might just be this. I actually like this. Yeah. All right. All you. Man, thank God for a wireless mouse, too. My wireless mouse is OP. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, that's great. All right, you're up. This is a card I haven't actually played uh, recently at all, but I really like it, so... There's also weird things like when you say stuff like that, it's so interesting because I'm giving you information, but not really at all. Are you waiting for the pack? Mm-hmm. Okay. As soon as you touch the mouse, that's when I know you you heard me. So like when you don't touch it, I'm like, oh shit, did you hear me? Like we're both just sitting here with our eyes closed. <laughs> that table? Mm-hmm. Oh, right, now I'm taking it. Oh, my boy. first pick uh, draft problems are now over. Am I good? Yeah. You gotta tell me. The card I was thinking about taking tabled, so I just took it. This is interesting. It's so perfect too because each pack, just, like, you, there's no way I can't even tell like what's based on the pack what you got. Like, there's no way to. Oh read. no! Yeah, there's no way you could tell because they're all powerful cards. So like, you're like, well, maybe you took this powerful card. Also, we're finding that we're, we're getting the same packs that we had, though, you know? So you'll never see a card that a pack that I picked from. Like, you're only seeing cards that packs that you picked from. I've never closed my eyes for this long while streaming. Is that water done? Man, did you drink yeah. all the water and the ice? Uh-huh. Good lord, man. Hold the ice is in my mouth, Ron. Get your life together. I like to quench my thirst. Are you still waiting? Is it not up yet? Still waiting. Yeah, they're taking their time with this one. God, 
God, I hope we did. I hope we did good. We're doing it, boys. Here we go. Are you getting like really good stuff? This like really late. It is for what I drafted. We got a yeah emoji in here. Plugging two mice in seems like such so much more work than just like passing a, a wireless mouse back and forth. I agree with that. Got a bunch of slow drafters up in here. Oh, got another good, got another bad Larry up in here. All right, all yours. Can't find a better draft. They alternate picks and don't know what to take. Can't find a better draft. That's a Pearl Jam song. It's called Better Draft. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you. He dreams and color. He dreams and drafts. Still not up yet? Still not. Three God, you're, when I pass the mouse to you, you have to wait like 10 minutes for your picks. When when you pass the mouse to me, the packs are already on the screen usually. Come on, slow pokes. Just pick a card. There's like what, four cards left in the pack? Can't Am I right? Hard. Can't be that difficult. But what if it is? I guess. Yeah, think about that. No. Think about it. Looks like I move these ants around. No, don't. Oh, God. They just need to be in the garbage can. I hate killing ants. They're cool bugs, all right? Like, those are... I think ants are the most commonly used bug in movies where people get shrunk. And they always get... They always befriended. You always befriend the ants. And they always have cool personalities. And they're yeah. always super loyal. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, should be one more pick in this pack. It's all you. I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep the, the honor of the stipulation so I don't get to see it, and then we can... Uh... I'm fine. I'll put it in the sideboard. There. Right. You can open your eyes now. There's no cards left. Whew! Oh, my God. I have no idea what's going to pop up here. Right, we should reveal it. I want to reveal it when it's all up. I don't want to have to look in the sideboard and see it all. This was worth more money than I have. <laughs> <laughs> they both have their eyes closed. I'm confused. Oh, this was great, dude. This, this deck is actually better than when they draft eyes open. Oh my god, let's see what we did. Oh! I took Gristlebrand because I can't pass it. I took Iona because I wanted to reanimate some stuff, and we have Necromancy. Uh, well, we both wanted to reanimate stuff, so that worked out. When did you take this? Uh, I, that, was the, that was the one that tabled, because I took Recurring Nightmare. Um, and channel was also in the pack, so I figured if you were green, I wanted to take channel. But... Oh, we got we got makeshift mannequin, necromancy, and uh, animate dead. It's recurring nightmare, right? I thought I took that. Yeah. Okay. Which is nice because all of these are go to the graveyard. This deck looks. Ga I took this over. I, there was a there was a misty rainforest in a pack. It was either misty or this, and I knew I had a bayou and an underground, so I could search for either with the oh. misty. But now this gets a black. Yeah, I just took that randomly. Like the skull clamp. Oh, search is a good way to put things in the graveyard. This like, is my first pick. Yeah, that makes sense. I also took uh, Thoughtseize so we could Thoughtseize ourselves if need be. I do like that. I took on Bear. This was really late. This tabled. Ooh, Mystic Confluence. I was going to take Scarab God, but then I was like, oh, there's this Consecrated Sphinx in the pack. So I took Consecrated Sphinx and then Scarab God came back. Nice. Which is also a reanimation spell for all these, like reanimate Gristlebrand. I'll take a 4-4, four, four, sure. This deck looks sweet, dude. Let's build it. I took this because I knew what I had, and I was like, oh, well, if you have... Ooh. Ooh! Yeah, that was a good one. Also a good way to discard things. Oh, also, I got this guy. Not bad. <laughs> so... Oh, this deck looks great, dude. Oh, we can we can play that off our Orzov signet. Yep. Oh my god, we have so many cards. Definitely putting the grizzle 
daddy in there. And Dig goes in here. Oh, this is only 27 cards. That's all. Probably cut Ugin. It's really slow. You don't like Ugin? I mean, I do, but... Man, my deck is never this good when I try to draft a reanimator with my <laughs> eyes open. <laughs> oh my god, we can reanimate True Name Nemesis and make it a 4-4? Four -four? That's pretty good. We probably cut Fatal Push. I agree. It's never that great. I like having Murderous cut. We probably cut Recurring Nightmare, actually, just because it's a little hard for we us to We can cut Iona. I was thinking that, too. I'm never... I don't know. Like, we don't have a lot of small creatures to stack. Right, it's a thing. Right, I agree with you. And we also have Necromancer, Animate Dead, and Makeshift Mannequin, and Unbarrel Rights. which and Scarab Guard. Yeah, which is a lot, but we also have a lot of good creatures to bring back. Like, we have True Name Nemesis, Glenelinger, Archmage. Like, Makeshift Mannequin on True Name is basically just True Name. Um, we have no Treasure Crews right now because we have... Um, we don't have that many ways to get things into the graveyard. Like, we have yeah. Ultimate Price... Uh, we, we have, have Search like, for Escanto. And Compulsive Research is about it. But we also have a Murderous Cut and a Dig Through Time already, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't think we play Cruise. And I like Dig better than Cruise by a, by a large margin. Probably got Emrakul. Maybe not. Even if you just reanimate this, it's just a 13-13 Flying Trample Pro Instant. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, Kalidus. You can cut Kalidus. Really? Yeah. I think he's really good. I mean, he's all right. Well, Tasker another does mill us. Yeah, but I don't like Tasker for the same reason I don't like the the treasure cruise. Like we just don't have that many cards that go into the graveyard. No, but Tasker fuels your graveyard. All right, we'll cut the Cletus. I, I can agree with that. I think this well, is our deck. This deck looks great. Urborg. Bayou. Mm, Wooded Foothills not... Well, the bio we don't really need, though. We don't have a way to search for it other than Wooded Foothills. Yeah, it's probably not worth it, actually. And then you're just getting a black. Like, this is just a black fetch land. It does fuel our delve cards a little bit. That's true. But you only have one target, so it's not that great. Oh, we could actually put a plateau if we want to cast Unburial Rights. Doesn't seem great though. Yeah, it's a tough color though. If I don't really. Like one, if it was like black white, I'd be like, yeah. Definitely. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, or a tundra. I don't think Kalidus is better than Ugin. Foothills is the only thing that's nice about that. What? Foothills would get it, get it for us. Right, but that's. I mean, like, then you have this. If you draw this, it's just a bad draw at any other point. I think. Yeah, that's true. Plus, we already have Orzhov Signet, so. I think this is fine. Yeah. This deck looks beautiful. I'm I'm impressed that we did this. We made this together. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one more uh, island because we have Urborg. Do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. But good at success. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Didn't get any power, mm. but. Uh, didn't we? No. Uh, didn't we? No. Yeah, you're right. I think this is okay. Yeah. Got an early thing, got some late things. A little slow, but so am I. Iona was bullied in high school? That's so sad. I will keep this hand. What did you say to me? My name is Jeff. I don't think Ugin is win more. Ugin wipes boards. Like, cube goes late. Like, cube isn't always super early. Like, you can go really late in the cube. And Ugin is great because it's like, oh, you have a bunch of tokens that I'll probably die to next turn. I'll just Ugin and wipe them all away. Like, I, Ugin is super useful. Your deck's not that broken. Like, we're probably going to go late. Oh, good. Here we go. Here we go. 
Here we go. I had a chance to take a bizarre. I'm not a big bizarre fan. For one, it takes up. Not only does it take a land drop, um, that you can't actually tap for mana. I mean, it's pretty broken if you have like random eight. Yeah, but they also have island, so it's like, meh. Mystic Snakes, Consecrated Sphinx, Lumbering Falls. I do like that we have this ultimate price in hand. If they try to reanimate, I hope they try to reanimate Consecrated Sphinx, then we can just ultimate price it out of the, out of the out of the world. Oh, here we go! It's happening. It's all happening. You ready? I'm ready. Are you? Uh, I'm ready. I want you to be ready for it. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Sure. Are you ready? Hmm. Same. <laughs> Same Z's. This is actually great. Because even if they reanimate, we can go to our turn and then kill it on our upkeep, which is fine. In other words, our opponent will never get a card off of Consecrated Sphinx. If I have anything to say about it. If you know what I mean. I don't. You do. Never ever. Alright, so nothing. Still nothing. Did they miss a land drop? It was their turn four, they did not play a fourth land, and they pondered. And they chose not to shuffle. I don't understand. My confusion is real. Meh, who needs lands? Put on burial rights in the graveyard? No. Really? We don't have a way to cast it from the graveyard. Yeah, we don't have any creatures in the graveyard either. I'd rather not draw it. I don't want, I don't want it in my hand. Really? Yeah, I want a second blue. I want to make sure this flips. Right. Why would I want that? There's nothing in the graveyard. Yep. Well, yes, and yet, and we're not, we don't have anything to cast because we don't have a double blue for this guy or this guy. You stupid Mitch. I do agree. I think Bizarre is really good. Like, you have to have the really broken reanimate deck when you actually have, like, reanimate. I remember your mom had that really broken that really broken reanimator deck one time. Did she? Yeah, it was really busted. Okay. I was... I think you might have a brain aneurysm. I think you're remembering things wrong. I think I do. Oh, thank God. Why are you like this? What is it? Did what is it? Orzov Signet? Island? Nah, I like islands. Oh, I, I like islands. Oh, now we can just keep up Mystic Confluence. You can also jam that Nemesis. It's pronounced Nemesis, Michael? Oh, my bad. It is your bad. And you can't Cryptic Command. You can regular Counterspell. I will choose you as the player. Alright, we've got seven turns to live. <laughs> Seven seconds to paradise, baby. Pack your bags, leave. They have not put a single card into their graveyard. <coughs> they've wanted every card they've drawn. Here comes Makeshift Mannequin. You ready? Wait. Oh, you... My lips feel real, like... Weird. Weird. I think that's part of the aneurysm. <laughs> weird. Oh, that's your brain aneurysm talking. Let's see. What do you got here? Dig through time. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't see us casting it anytime soon. Do we just win most slam this con Well, what if they have makeshift mannequin? That's a little scary. They don't have to do anything. We have training notices. Okay. <laughs> two counters and a counter spell and two removal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. They gotta have something at this point, right? Like, if they don't have counter spells, what are they doing? Here comes makeshift. Old makey shifty. You ready? Oh. We'll let that resolve. Really? Yeah, we just counter whatever they're getting. Really? Yeah.
I never said I love mountains. I never said they're my favorite land. Yeah, but they're getting two things. What if they get like unbarrel rights and other things? So then we counter the unbarrel rights. And then they do it again. They don't even have any white mana. What up, Floyd 3? Oh, God, fine. I'm going to let it resolve, but I don't like it. It's just, a, it's just a trap to get you to use your counter spell. I don't have a counter spell. <laughs> I would never say that. I would never say that about mountains. Those are That's a disgusting land. This draft was fantastic, dude. I can't believe we ended up with this deck. Can't believe we both were like, yeah, sure, reanimator, why not? <laughs> Well, I just wrong. no. Well, Animate Dead was one of the earlier picks I took, and it was the one of the best cards in the pack. So I was just like, okay, well, okay, but okay. I don't like that this fills his graveyard with three cards, and it also uh, puts two cards in their hand. Oh, look at this. Can I just keep these in your? Oh, now they have that they have Bazaar, so they can get these in the graveyard. So what? Put two cards into Ricky Ticky Tavi's graveyard. You can have Masquerum and Sundering Titan. That's a worm titan. They didn't bizarre last turn. <laughs> that's my worm titan. Mountain, that's a disgusting land. That's true, it is. I agree with you. So if you say quote 20, does it just do the most recent quote? If you if you do a quote higher than what the highest is? So if you said like quote 99, it would just do the most recent quote? So that you can tell? Forests are way better than mountains. Get real. Or he's right. That's so right. Oh, look. I personally put forest above planes. I feel like we're playing the same deck, except they have bizarre and. What are you doing here? I'll be alive till I die. Oh, you just hard cast this guy. Okay, that's cute. Well, I don't want my Nemesis to die. Counter and slow you do pay three. Draw two. He's good. Burp, 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 burp. I have a force of will in my hand. Where's your worm titan now? I wish you could delve from your opponent's deck. That, that's where I want to be in my life. Wow. Delve would be quite the mechanic. I was quite the mechanic once. There you were. I think I just want the island. Oh, we, we drew an island. Dang it, I didn't want the island after all. What a dumb dumb I am. Now you're probably slaying uh, Sphinx. Consecrated Pinks? Yes. So I know they have Sundering Titan in hand. That could cost really, eight though, right? Yeah, and we also don't even really care about it. Don't Whatever. we want Scarab Gods so we can reanimate their Consecrated five, four, five, six, seven. Like next turn we can reanimate their, their Mask Worm and their Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, that's pretty good. Or we can instant speed animate their Mystic Snake. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I'm a fan of all of these things. One, two, three, four, five. And we get to keep up uh, Ultimate Price and Murderous Cut, so. We good. Moto crashed on you and you got a time twister, huh? Looks like you just got a four storm, boy. That's not very good at all. <laughs> it's actually the worst power. Not if you're Storm. Even then, I'd still rather have the every other power in Storm. Oh sure. Yeah. But I mean, if there was was there another power though? Probably not. But my statement was that it's the worst power. I agree. Good. Good. What's the best power? Soaring. <laughs> it might be Lotus. It might be Lotus. It's close. I think Soaring, Ancestral, and Lotus are all very very close. Grim Tutor. Yeah, sure. Go for it, buddy. You have to take three whole damage. You're, You're basically dead. dead. They're probably just going to reanimate Massacre Worm, and then they kill this, but then we have Scarab God, and then we're going to reanimate their well, Consecrated Sphinx, the and oh, we're going to... they have Herborn. Never mind. Yeah. I have the power. I have the need. The need for speed. If you know what I'm saying. Whatchamacallit? Why do I have this Whatchamacallit song stuck in my head? Did you do this? Maybe. Did you? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what you were singing. It's a, it's the it's the candy. It's called what you what you call it. 
I don't even know what that is, old time. You don't know the whatchamacallit song? Oh, they just win. We just win. They grim tutor and we just win the game. Okay, cool. That's interesting. I like that the situation here was that they looked in the, at their entire deck and said, nope, nothing I can do to beat a Trinim Nemesis and a Scarab God. That is an interesting situation. Anything? Anything good? Nothing I really care about here. The power of Grayskull. Let's look at the Whatchamacallit commercial. It's a candy bar? Yeah, it's what we call Whatchamacallit. Look at all those dang memes. You ready? This hand is brutal. <laughs> this, this is the most 80s commercial ever, dude. Yeah, it's, that's got to be accurate. The animation is so 80s, too. There you go. That's what I was thinking. This hand is not much better. No. I'll, okay, I'll keep it. I don't think this is worse. It's got a consecrated sphinx in it. <clears throat> okay. I still don't think Bizarre would be great here because then we're just going to discard cards to our uh, Bizarre. I mean, if we draw lands, this hand's pretty good. I agree with you. Whatchamacallit. Okay, if we draw a search here, that'd be great. Oh, all right. I, that's a good one. That's a good, that's a good boy. Acoustic Sun is not impressed with your old timer candy. <laughs> oh Lord. What's the Eagle Man commercial? What is that? Well, now we have to find out. Oh, look at old Ratty. Look at old Rat a tat tat. It's actually really good in this matchup. Yeah, it is, but I'm just gonna kill it, so it doesn't matter. I think we're doing well so far. <clears throat> we're two lands away from Consecrated Sphinx, my friend. And then we're basically casting Ugin. If by two, you mean three? Well, no, we have to draw two, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Mike, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Uh, not too much. They're kind of okay. What would you do? Yeah, I, feel, I always feel the same way. I was like, what? They're like, I mean, I'd rather have like, like if you're talking like a Twix ice cream bar, then I'm like, well, anything. This is so bad, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, look at those long legs. Wow. That was pretty bad. That was absolutely terrible. I oh, this is a good this is a good draw. That was re that that actually aired on TV. Wow. Human beings watched that and they were like, "This is why I'm, I'm gonna bar I'm gonna go to this insurance company and." Ooh, not ideal. Oh, they're gonna do they're gonna do a thing. Oh, that's a good one. You can certainly have Prowler. I'm gonna do it like that. Just gave him a free land. I mean, I would take this pile. What? Because if they have things with they have three cards, like what if they have like two big dudes and a reanimate in hand? You know, I don't want to give them an outlet to put things in their graveyard. Then you should put another line in the click pile. Well, I don't. I don't think this is great. I. I don't get me wrong. Yep. To click swamp. What you call it? What you call it? I, I mean, our hand is so great that I don't care what they take. To be quite honest, like you could take this. We still got these, and we can reanimate. Oh, this goes to the bottom. Uh, that's sad. God, I just want to play. 
Oh, don't worry. She posted it. It's right there. Not only that, but you guys can just Google. I, all I did was go to, I Googled Eagle Man on YouTube and it was the first video. So they played a swamp. Eagle Man commercial. I like that no matter what they like, if they, uh, if they play click, they don't have any blue sources left. So click during my draw step or do it now, whatever you want to do. Oh no. Oh no. I'll keep Ash, Ashy Daddy. Ashy Daddy. Oh, they just let me do they just let me do a thing. Missed the land drop, but What up, Ashy Daddy? That's my Ashy Daddy. It's like never resolved, right? I mean we didn't see any counters though. Yeah, we didn't see anything and they also don't have uh They also whatchamacallit, you know? What do we get? Oh, Sundering Titan. We never have to deal with that. We also exited a shallow grave and a gift sun given. Those are all good. Ashiot goes to two, and then he goes to four. Then it goes to one, then it goes to three. Then it dies. And then it dies. If it dies, it dies. I'm okay, Ashy Dad. Pick your mean. I'm okay, Dad. Oh, let's not do that. Okay, apparently it does do something. It does interact with Magic Online, weirdly. You okay, man? They took Mystic Confluence and they gave us Makeshift Mannequin. All right. All right. Okay. Put a card in your graveyard and flip them. Whatchamacallit. 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 I wish it was like Ashiok pick one pack one over Soaring. That is devotion. To You're Ashiok. a maniac, dude. I love Ashiok more than anybody, but that ain't that ain't right. I wish maniac. I wish uh, mannequin would let me target this Mystic Snake. That's what I want. What are you casting here? Good lord, Masquerum. Oh, just a mind twist for my entire fucking hand. Okay, cool. Seems good. <sighs> well, this is closer to flipping, at least. That's pretty good. If it's a land, it's going right into the graveyard. Sure. Orzhov Signet. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for us. Oh, got a Razaketh and a... All right. <clears throat> huh. I think it's land. Because next turn this is going to flip, and then we can just unbarrel rights the, uh, the Consecrated Sphinx. How's that sound, Mitchell? Just fine. Mr. Merkel? It's not my name. It is your name. My name is not. It is not Mystic Merkel. Mystic Myrtle? That's mm -hmm. not what I said, buddy. That's what I heard. Well, you just made things up, so what are you going to do about that? I do not care. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. I do not care. You can never have this. You can never have this. Snapcaster, Mind Twist, make you discard your hand again. <laughs> your only white source is the Orzhov Signet of the Graveyard. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you less now. No, I still hate you a lot. You okay? You dying? Yes. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Wait, how did they get that back? They didn't. They just cast. Oh, there's ours. Okay, I was like, where did ours go? Do we just get Emrakul instead? <laughs> if they don't have an answer to it, it's good. Now we get to play the awkward game. 
Yeah, like, you want to draw? Well, let's fill our hands, I guess. I mean, we have 22 cards. They have 12. They can only draw so many. Oh, you drew a card? I'll draw two. Certainly. Oh, it's your turn? Okay. Just draw your whole deck. We know you have a Grim Tutor in your deck. We know you got a bunch of stuff. All right. Yeah, I'll draw two more. Seems good. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna play. Let's play Consecrated Sphinx Chicken, buddy. You hear how loud that dude is? Oh, I hear it. It's unbelievable it's like to me. Four sneezes in a row. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I guess we'll just keep going, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, one more. All Pop right. It off. I'm going to say no from here. <clears throat> they have seven cards. We can we can deal with that. All right. We did it. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> seven to eight cards. All right. Seems good. The old Consecrated Sphinx uh, minigame. Yeah, Sphinx is a May ability. Also, if you guys have not done so, uh, definitely appreciate subs if you guys can spare it. Uh, we stream regularly and uh, helps me out, supports the channel. Helps me uh, get towards those sweet emoticons. Look at your weird hands. You can tell which was the, the, the important arm, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's this one. So I can reach out and touch you. Gross. I touch you with my weird mosquito arms. I don't want to hear about your weird mosquito arms. Too bad. It's so too bad. Yeah, the arm you're right with, obviously. Everybody knows about the right the right with arm. Oh, Lumbering Falls. Okay, that's a good one. I like your Sundering Titan is gone. Your Razaketh is gone. What else did they have? Anything good? Masquerum. They had Masquerum, but that doesn't do much here. That's fine if you want to mill yourself. Or you can bring back a Nunas Prowler or a Grave Robber or a Mystic Snake, none of which is super exciting. <clears throat> Oh, you're going to get the Grave Robber back. Okay. Well, I wish you luck. Do you take Emrakul out? You probably take Emrakul out. Yeah, you can just wait. Yeah, that guy's never getting flipped, though, just to be clear. I'm pretty sure Felipe's dying. It certainly sounds like it. All right, I'm going to draw my card for the turn. <clears throat> oh, Necromancy. Excuse me, what? Necromancy. Hmm. Oh, they didn't want to draw. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, this is also, I can cast this at instant speed and reanimate their Mystic Snake just as a counter spell. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Let's Thought Seize you and see what you have. It's also opponent's graveyard, uh, so they can't, if we target something in their graveyard, they can't, oh, this is your hand. Three lands, a Grim Tutor, a Numizumi Short Fang, and a Trigon Predator? Hmm. We take the Grim Tutor. 
I mean, they have seven cards in their deck. Mm, still. I don't think we care about the other cards, right? This guy might be more annoying. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, all right, sure. This is your hand. Five cards. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. We can animate dead on... We'll just respond and take whatever we pick. Right. Maybe we just cut his uh, Sphinx. We probably do cut his Sphinx. Attack the Leon, I guess. Oh, we can actually <clears throat> we can actually animate dead their Sphinx after we do that. Actually, we might as well just delve more more stuff, right? <clears throat> yeah. Well, maybe not. We only need to keep three up. Like we're either going to play Necromancy. We're just going to keep Necromancy up. So there's no reason because we do have to dig through time still in our deck. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, we know your entire hand, so there's nothing to really be afraid of here. We can also <clears throat> animate dead their Consecrated Sphinx. But we're definitely going to go to your face right now. Or to your, to your Liliana's face. Yeah, I think we have to actually animate their Consecrated Sphinx because otherwise they're going to reanimate it with Liliana. No. Liliana takes negative three. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So we know there's a Massacre Worm somewhere in their deck still. Mm hmm. You just pass. No, I'll just grab their Consecrated Sphinx. Because otherwise. <clears throat> Uh, they, I know there's also a reanimate. Did we see a reanimate? Yeah, they have somewhere in the deck. They could actually do it now. That'd be pretty good. That'd be really good. Nope, didn't do it. All right, <clears throat> seems good. Oh, paying costs. You got two mana. Oh, you're going to exile a thing. Sure. Ashiok. I don't understand. Unless you have a reanimation spell in hand, you're going to reanimate like Emrakul. And that's very good. I will not draw further because I don't want to die. But I don't want to die. <clears throat> you could have gotten one more. That's what your mom told me once. Hmm. She's like, you can go one more. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Are you using that? Did they play a card? Um, No, not yet. Oh, they took a damnation. That seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six cards in their hand, and then they drew a card. So that's good. You're going to get rid of both of my sphinxes? My sphinx eye? Oh, but then they also get rid of this guy, and we can just reanimate like Emrakul, so that's pretty good. I don't actually know how they deal with that. I guess they could reanimate Emrakul instead of us. But that would actually have to be one of the few cards in their hand. We actually know their hand, so. I'll block here because you're obviously going to reanimate, or uh, Damnation. So... We could also Massacre Worm, but that doesn't really do anything. Sure. Damn, Nate. One, two, three. One, two, three. We are one shy of being able to keep Glenlinch or Archmage mana up, which is unfortunate. Oh, what up with them cheers? Thank you, Blunderbra. Appreciate it. It's your cheer, boy. Okay, don't care about any of these things. Damnation's gone. Uh, this guy's gone. So this is your hand, I presume. Did you play land? You played an island. Okay. This game's over. 
Yeah, it's looking pretty good for us. So we just get Emrakul, right? Seems good. Make sure you don't have anything better. You do not. And Emrakul it is. <clears throat> I believe in an Emrakul. I believe. All, wait, all I need. All, all I need is an Emrakul. That sounds very similar. That's good. I like that. All I need is an Emrakul. It's kind of like Miracle, right? Close. You're close. You're too you close. have an O on the end. And it sounds like miracle. You don't know, bro. You don't know anything Can about that, Yeah, bro. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was good. I didn't know what was going to happen. We can hard cast Gristlebrand next turn. I don't recommend drawing with him, but I do recommend attacking with him. He attack. He defend. He draw a card. He gain life. Also, I can actually wait a turn <clears throat> until I have Gristlebrand in play, and then I can swing for Xaxes with Emrakul and Gristlebrand. Ooh. Wow, this is bold. This this strategy of as Conta Ink. Oh, Reanimate, sure. None of the cards in the graveyards. This is why I want to get this out of there as soon as possible. Because now, like, if you can get if you get Consecrated Sphinx back, it's fine because you take six and you can draw cards and you have three cards in your library. Like you can get Una's Prowler back. Um, Vendillion Click. None of these cards are great, None though. None of them are better than Emrakul. Right, that's the thing. He attack, he defend, he make the game end. That's very good. I like that better. Dang. That was very good. Your papa's real proud of you. Papa don't preach. He does sometimes. Not tonight. Not, to not tonight he don't. It's a preach free night. I wish there were some cookies in this house. Fluvius probably got cookies somewhere. I'll go steal them. Your cookie theft? You can't just be stealing a man's cookies, bro. Yeah, that's messed up. Why would you do that? I don't think um yeah, someone's okay. That was not that was not a response to me. Yeah, nobody cares about this thing. That guy's gone. Okay. Did you play land again? Play Swamp again? Why aren't you playing your... I don't know why you're not playing Creeping Tar Pit. Sure. You have three cards left. One of them is a Massacre Worm. We know that. And the, these are two. So we have three of the six cards you, you may have. This is also gone. You want me to discard? Alright, I'll discard this Swamp. I also feel like if you're going to reanimate, you might as well have waited until I discarded in case I discarded like this Gristle brand, for example. Draw two. There's absolutely no way you draw two here, right? Zero way. You're pretty greedy. Zero kind of way. I'm going to get in there and I hit your face. You're at 14. Sure. I'll put you to 13. I'll put you to 13 every day. <clears throat> we can still hard cast Crystal Brand. They have an Airborg in play. That wasn't a misplay. That was deliberate because I want more dual lands. Oh, all right. Cool. See you later. Bye. I forgot I had Trample. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. It's a card is not fair, which is why it was banned in Standard. Oh yeah, still had all these. My bad. So now you have to get rid of three blockers in order to get your Trigon Predator through to deal with my necromancy. My necromancy, if you will. I guess you can go Massacre I'll take two and this will die. And then I'll block. And then our game hath ended. Corrupt history, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> we won, all right. Wow, we didn't even draft this deck together. This is a two independently drafted decks combined into one deck. And here we are. Because I can't pass Crystal Brand. Well, that's not why. 
That's why. Okay. I don't like you. I try to like you. I don't believe you. Draw seven to give him a bunch. No, the, the Consecrated Sphinx was dead at that point. <sighs> Did you say you don't believe me? Yes. You're rude. I know it. Dang. I'll keep this because of the search. I think search is very good. It's like <clears throat> almost drawing two cards a turn. Yeah, it's very, uh, yeah. And like, because you, it also ramps you at some point. And it fuels this, which is great. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that one shot. Ah. Ooh! I said you too, let's see if he mulligans. Uh, the secret U2, but hope he mulligans. Well, I was I was trying to see if my U2 caused him to mulligan. Hmm. You know what I mean? Interesting. Yeah, it is. It, it's interesting. Awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I post all the videos to YouTube. So if you guys miss any drafts or want to just catch up, uh, you can check them out at youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. So be sure to hit up the subs there and hit up the subs here. Sub everywhere. Sub everywhere you can. Sub and like at all times, every day. Smash them. Just smash those subs and like buttons. And just keep rewatching videos over and over again. Yeah, and then I can then I'll invite you guys all over to my big YouTube magic draft video mansion, then we can have a party. You know how it goes. They built this house on Rock and City. Roll. Oh, you're right. Oh, an elvish Mistaku. Mistaku. You know what this was. Some, type of, some type of way. Some type of way. You don't know what that's from, do you? No. We've been over this. I need you to find out what that's from. I can't. I need you to. Some type of way. You're, my, you're amazing. Play your tapped land. Play your tapped man land. You missed a land drop? Ooh, boy. What's it going? Does this show you anywhere other than the word? There's no, like, a revealed zone or anything? That's weird, man. How do I know? What if I don't know what this does? Like, how do I see the card? Uh, that's called not being a scrub. No, but I mean, like, if it was, like, an Emrakul, right? And I didn't know the exact wording or something, like, that's weird to me. Like, it just feels like you want to have the card pop up, right? It says, oh, it just says look at the top card. That's interesting. They got greedy, Martin. You got greedy, Martin. Sorry, he probably drew a force. You think he did? Yeah, I don't think so. I think he's going to go search for an elf. <laughs> this, is the, this is their makeshift mana base. Some type of way. Why do you say why? Because it's some type of way, okay? No, oh, you're right. It is some type of way. Some type of way. I get real close to the microphone. That's when the most. That's when the most intimate moments take place. Hey guys, welcome to uh, smooth jazz hour at the Fauna Shaman House. I'm so sick. All you ever go for. Is it really? Yes, every time. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? <laughs> I want to be able to Ugin and wipe their whole life away. Hey guys. Some life away. Some life away. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'll put a swamp. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep putting lands in until we don't need them anymore. Oh, that was a good draw. I'm a fan. It is good draw. It's good draw, yeah? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. My mouth is all dry. I don't like it. Maybe you should drink some liquid. I'm out of liquid, bro. I hear some in there. Somebody got a refill and they didn't offer anybody else a refill. You you went into the same kitchen I did, okay? Unicorn carriage pajamas. I don't think your deck was that bad. Your deck actually seemed fine. You had you had some reanimation going on. But good games though, man. That's really funny that that was your first cube draft. I hope you enjoyed it though, because they're really awesome. Hey guys, we're just uh, taking some callers here. Would you like to uh, 
chat about your love life. If you, if so, just give us a call here at uh, 763-92-12471 and uh, we'll get right to your uh, get right to your calls. Uh, my name is Jeff. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is Frank and Jeff's love <laughs> love discussion line and Love discussion uh, line. Okay. Hey buddy, listen. 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 Okay, I'm listening. Okay, so I'm glad you're listening. I think they just cast Gush with no islands in play. It's uh, very strange, but... Uh, Five-minute some, divination. Sometimes, whoa, this thing is going to get out of hand. And uh, I guess we're going to have to keep up some blue mana to counter the things with the guy. And I'm going to block this all day. Sure, easy trade. Ultimate price? Ooh, 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 ooh. I want lands, though. Goosh. <laughs> goosh. Oh, crying. Oh, wow. goosh. I don't think we really need that. I don't think so either. Oh, we did it. Yay. Hurry. Do, 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 do. What? Why don't you shut up? Do you ever think about that? You stupid Mitch. Dr. Love, how do I convince this guy in my office that he's in love with me? Well, you see, the problem is that uh, you probably haven't used enough of uh, Bill Cosby. <laughs> okay, I can't even make a Bill Cosby joke. It's just so terrible. Fast Bond, you have three cards in hand. But you could draw up to like seven. And then your cradle gets worse. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know how I felt about this. That's fine. Okay. Take a two. Uh, take it to two. Dinga dinga derma. My love life is... Okay, recycled toad. My love life is very low on Gush. How do I require more? Well, you see, Gush is an older card. It was in Mercadian Masks, and uh, as such, it makes it a less common card, even though it is of the common rarity. So, uh, that being the case, uh, they might be a little harder to find than your your normal card drawing cards. So, uh, you know, I recommend just keep, you keep looking. Get yourself out there, and you uh, you give it your all. You know, you just gotta you just gotta keep keep hustling, keep trucking. That's my advice. Okay, next caller. <laughs> all right, yeah, this guy dies. Sure, draw two. Doctor Love, my boyfriend is more interested in Tron than me. How do I get him to 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 out down the Carns and pick up me? Um, well, you see, Karn is a very powerful and popular planeswalker. He actually saved. Uh, the, the, he saved something and it's a, it's a, it's a magic lore thing. I don't, I couldn't tell you, but, um, <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but you see, as such, he's a very, uh, he's a good guy. He's a good, he's a good gentleman as a planeswalker. And, uh, you see, I can understand your boyfriend's interest in Karn because he has three abilities and they're all very... <laughs> I feel like I could have held it together until you said it right there, dude. I was until you started yeah, I laughing. laughing I, was, at, I was laughing at uh, my girlfriend seems just interested in me and is also imaginary. How do I fix our relationship? Oh yeah, that's good too. <laughs> oh, I thought it was because I was like, oh, this is weird. I don't know how to keep going with this. It was a little bit of call me, call me. Ooh. All right, so we're not doing anything. They equip to this to this scumbag. They're gonna draw a Venser, but they only have one blue. Okay. What's it going to be? I don't think I want to put the island. One, two, three, four. I don't think I want it. Yeah, island goes in graveyard. Draw six drop. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh, let's get that Venser. I want to meet that Venser. Oh, now you got a Woodfall premise? That's pretty scary. Well, that's terrifying. I wish I didn't do that. Yeah, that was pretty random. And it also kills Ashiok. It kills anything. I wish I could, um, I don't know why I'm going to write it. They're just going to play it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they have exactly eight. <laughs> oh. Emo Geddon is not really uh I, I don't think there's any way we can help you, Emo Geddon. You're just a little too 
You're just a little too far gone for us, that's all. Ashiok, why you gotta die? Why you gotta die? It make me cry. <laughs> Ashiok, why you gotta die? Yep, Ashiok hath died. That does give us a third card type for Emrakul, though. Ooh, spicy. Meatball. That's a spicy meatball. Uh. Did you just attack with this? Do we block here? Yeah, how do you be green decks? They're so good. I know. I almost feel like we just block here. Oh, and we have Unbarrel Rights. So that's pretty good, I guess. So they drew Lotus Cobra. I'm going to equip my clamp. Me likey clamp. Oh, if we can get, like, something good. If there's, like, oh, please be, like, something, like, a worm coil or a gristle brand on the top so we can just put it right in the trash can. Mystic Confluence? No, I'll be keeping that. I <laughs> shall be keeping that. Mystic Confluence. I'll just take a million and draw a bunch of cards and feel good about my life choices. Oh, also we get to flip this next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can have that. I don't care. Clamp. I don't care. You can have that. He's gonna clamp it immediately. No, they played a wooded, a wooded foot, footy titty hills. Footy what? Footy titty hills. Hmm. Don't act like you don't know about the footy titty hills, you stupid Mitch. I I, I don't. Oh 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 oh! I don't. You see, that's how you sound. My biggest problem with Woodfall Primus is that like you have to plus Ugin in order to exile it, and that's not really common. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's bad. I don't like. It's not good. Oh, time walk, eh? Let's counter that. Uh, that's not how this works. Make him pay nine. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang it. We could bounce it next turn, so we only take... No, that's not going to work. Six. Eight. We're dead. No, we're not. We take... Third, we did. We go to four. Your mother's dead. She's she not. She's dead, She Michael. alive. Unless did she die when I was talking. She did. It was when you were talking. Oh, that's so bad. It's not good. I did not know. She's dead. That is very sad. She's passed on, Michael. How do you know these? I, I, I was the one that killed her. <laughs> but we, I was with you the whole time. Yeah, it was. Yeah, did I know. Did you use drone? <laughs> do I use? Do I use what? Drone. Drung. Drone. Drum. Drone. Do I use drone? Drone. Do I <laughs> drone. God. D R O N E. English oh. motherfucker. You swing it. I'm, no, I don't think I do. That's the weirdest thing. They have two cards in hand. Okay, that's good. We can deal with this. It's not going to be easy. Ugin plus Painter Service? Oh, gross. Well, unless their guy costs eight, in which case it it doesn't still doesn't kill it. Ooh, that's bad. You're bad. Oh, they're going to time walk again. Oh, no. That's very good. How they do this? Oh, Jay-Z. We might be able to counter this, though. Probably not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, they still... God, they still can't. We still can't do it. Man, who would have thought two mana take an extra turn was broken? If we had one more land, we could have actually dug through time. Um, and then necromancy, the Glenlinger Archmage, and then paid to counter this. All right. Big dumb green deck. I want to bring in this Fatal Push. I'm also going to bring in Kalidus because if they... Uh... Kalidus, go to the backyard and get your sister. Why are you like this? Yeah, it's the final truth. 
It's what? The final truth. What are you saying right now? The final truth? Yeah. What does that mean? It's a little bit of a meme. You're a little bit of a meme. <clears throat> it's a meme that's pretty far out there, and probably no one will get it. That's what I say about your mother. What? Nothing. Oh, nothing, Michael. I like this hand. Does it like you back? Probably not. In. We're going to have to hit a land here. We might have conceded our own. We might have just sealed our own fate here. But I figure we have a fatal push. We have a compulsive research to discard something into the yard. And we have two re spells. And we got a signet. We got we have all kinds of things that are nice. One land lets us play compulsive, which is really where we want to be. But... Right? Um, yeah. Ooh, they got a land. No, they don't. Bolt the bird. Land, Birds land, dead. land, land, land. That's not a land. Do, 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 ding, 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 well, ding, 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 ding. They lost their land, so we had to lose ours. It's only fair. That's that is fair. Action. You're right. Most of their, they had one creature that had a high CMC. Every other creature they played was able to be killed with a fatal push. Look at all this mana they got. Land? Did it. We could also reanimate the bird, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Do not like this. You don't like Ram the Bird? We get mana, though. Mm, not good. <laughs> well, now I look stupid. Why did you Why did you say it, then, you big dummy? <clears throat> My name is Jeff. Is it really? Sometimes. I don't believe you. You don't have to. Well, I don't. Don't know much. But I know I have blah, blah. What's that do? Very narrow. Agreed. I don't know why it's rare. Oh, it's rare. Throw it off on it. Yeah. Ugh. I'm probably gonna open like ten of those then. I'm making a wolf in the world today. It takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to compulsive research? We drew nothing. Good. Sometimes you want to go where Michael B knows your name. Burr, burr, burr. What if I don't? I don't care. One, two, three. Fatal Push True Name Nemesis. Or uh, Thoughtseize True Name Nemesis seems pretty okay. You have six mana? Don't have Primeval Titan. I guess we're fine. Yeah, I got real worked up, sir. I, I apologize. I didn't mean to get so worked up, and I was just really aggressive. I'm sorry. Be aggressive. Be be aggressive. That's an that's an old that's an old meme. Did you know that? Are you checking your your stocks? Uh, yeah. How's that going for you? Uh, they're going down. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's the story of your life, I think. Oh. Too many green duders. Well, that's cool. That's, too many green duders. That's a green duder. Oh, look, another reanimation spell with nothing in the graveyard. Three reanimation spells. We might be dead. It's not looking good. It's not great. Hmm. That's not going to do it. Connor Ryan wants to know if you'll be his dad. Every day. Every day? I'll be his dad every day. Man, we would have won if you wouldn't drafted your better oh. half. Oh! Oh, that's pretty good. The problem is if they ever kill it. Then we die. What was the other card? Just the Raffalos? 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 They're green. They had no way to kill creatures. You might be right. They could bounce it, though. Yeah, I guess we gotta animate here. Wouldn't you like to get away? 
sometimes you want to go. Yeah, I wish we had one more mana. We can play True Name. I'd feel much better about this turn. All right, this is actually good. This means they're not probably doing anything else. We block here. We take 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. We go to 3. And then we reanimate this guy. With makeshift Manny. Oh, makeshift Manny! <laughs> okay, they drew this. Alright, this is actually not a terrible game. Makeshift Manny! But you better slow your makeshift down. That's like Mustang Sally, you know what I'm saying? No, I had no idea. I know, you're not... You're a sad man with a sad plan. Oh, they attack with this guy? Oh, dang it, they don't attack with that guy. That was smart. That was he smart. see your trick. He did see my trick. Now, now we are dead. Now we are dead. Two, three. One, two, three. You're right. All things are happening. Block, block. Pick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we are dead. We have died. Hmm. Not a, not a big fan. Not a big fan. I wish they attacked with this guy. If we get one creature back, do we still die? Yeah, because then we block two of these guys. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy has to be dead. Okay. Yeah, we're dead. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing we can do here. This is a pretty rough matchup. You too faced. All right, so we're one one. Seems fine. You can't win them all. I wish you could though. You know what that mean? No. Yeah, you will. You'll know. There should be a drawbreaker song that discusses being destroyed by green decks. I could see that. Oh, keep all day. This hand is gas. Hot fire gasoline. What are you doing? You tap it on the desk? Mm hmm. Why? Why would you do that? Why not? Why would you say that to me? Why'd you ask me my name? Is it Signet? No, it's, it's definitely Search first and then Signet because Signet would ramp us to this guy in turn four. And now all of our draws will be so smooth. Yeah, put Island in there. I don't need another Island. No, oh, okay, that's... Oh, we get Scarab God next turn. That's a good that's a good boy. Scarab God, also known as a good boy. Oh, that's a good that's a bad boy. Oh, you got rid of my thing. Mm, not too big a deal. So I like that we can play this guy and then next turn we can thought season and steal one of your things. Ooh, that's pretty pretty cheeky. It's a spicy meatball, Michael. How's the thought season yourself and get a Merkle? Oh, girl. Wait, that's not as good because it's only 4-4. Four, four. Oh, girl. <laughs> Man, what a roller coaster. 
I was, yeah, I was up. It was high. There were highs. There were lows. Ups and downs. What are you going to put in the trash can? Uh, Karakong, in my Bible, it's totally cool. Hey, is making Bibles before marriage considered a sin according to the according to the Bible? You probably, I don't know. What do I look like? Uh, a what, Bible man. What do I look like? Jesus. Spoiler alert: I'm not Jesus. Oh, I've been so confused this whole time. I know. Okay, I I get it. I get it. Lands. Give me some. <gasps> That's still pretty good when you're animated. <laughs> it's uh, indestructible. Exile the top 20 cards of your library, please. You did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What was that? Chain Lightning and Spiral. If that's not very good. And I'm pretty sure you're going to actually kill this guy. You better. But the damage is already done. It is already done. I can have this. You can never have this. You can never have this. Delirious Mango, what's going on? Reach out, touch faith. God, this Nahiri exiling three of our things is pretty brutal. I assume you're going to exile. Oh, yeah, sure. It's indestructible. <laughs> Deal four to it. You got it. That is not how Ulamog the Ceaseless works. You know, you ha this is your card. He's too hungry. You cannot kill him. He is stronger than you think. That was pretty good because now you only have these cards in hand. He died. He not to win this game. Now game be over. He only have a seven card left in his library. You right. We got Emrakel. Oh, you guys talking about ghosts now? Dang. It's getting spooky. Give me a six drop. <laughs> well, boy oh boy, huh? A six drop. I know it was a great one. Oh, we actually kill. Never mind, we kill Nahiri. Yeah, for a second I was like, oh man, how are we going to deal with... Oh, we get to see your whole deck. How are we going to deal with Nahiri exiling Ulamog? And then I'm like, oh wait. We just kill her. Do we even play Worm Coil Engine? They get one draw? I don't think we do. No, no real reason to. Great radio voice. Hey, guys. Welcome to the uh, Frank Lepore and Mike Barbobbly Boo Draft Hour. My name is Michael Barbobbly Boo, and I uh, have switched bodies with Frank tonight. My name is... <laughs> Your name is Jim now? My name is Jim. Oh, Jimbo. Hi, Jimbo. Hi, Jimbo. Jim. Jimbo, bim, bim, bim. First time listener, first time caller, long time listener. What do you want? Oh, interesting. Are you going to draw cards? Okay, you got that. You got a way to stop us from attacking. Do you have some kind of way? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to stop us from attacking. You might as well draw because I'm going to mill your whole life away. Life away? Some life away. I guess we'll go with Chandra because it doesn't really matter. Your library is getting... We see your entire deck except for two cards. That's pretty good. Take it snappy. Oh, I'll be snappy in it.
This is your entire deck. All right. Good to know. He still don't die. Is there anything you can draw here that keeps you alive? I don't think so. I don't think so either, but, I mean, worst case scenario, we take four. Oh, you put it, oh, you put a thing on top. You put a metal worker on top. Sure. I guess this does save you, actually. I mean, for one turn. I guess you could do it. No, you can do it always. Yeah. So now we got to now we got to deal with this, I guess. Some kind of way. Adding them two reds, you, but they can't actually attack. Otherwise, we just kill the Chandra. I guess they could block and then put it on top again with the ruins. Okay, so your last card is Chain Lightning. You have one card. Yeah, we know your entire deck now. All right. I guess we'll have to play some more creatures. Yep. Sad times. Ashiok's kind of weird here. Four, one, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't really do anything. It does nothing. But, I mean, whatever. If they want to kill it, they can go to the graveyard. Oh, actually, if we draw a land next turn, we can negative Ashiok, which would be three cards, then we'll have ten lands, so we can... Or we can just not attack them. <laughs> and then they don't have a... Yeah, we'll just not attack them, and then they don't have a, an artifact to put on top. That's true. I mean, they have some more in the yard, but... No, they don't. They have a mountain and a Nahiri in their yard. Oh. Oh, right, because exile. This is the, this is what's been exiled. <laughs> okay, seems good. Yeah, they can't put mines. They can't put cards that are exiled on their on their library. I thought that was the graveyard. Apparently, everyone did. No, believe it or not, Ulamog does not put cards in the graveyard. He exiles them. Believe it or not, I'm walking on it. I feel like Kalidus could be good here. <laughs> On a wing and a pair. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's, it's Mike me. B. <laughs> I thought Mike B was good. Well, you said Mike B and I said it's me. Makes sense. Does it? Yeah. This is also the second deck we played that had Consecrated Sphinx in it. And we had Consecrated Sphinx. So 75% of the decks that have existed in our three matches have had Consecrated Sphinx. It is good boy. I'm a good boy, Greg. Are you? Can you Sphinx me? No. But you'd like to, you pervert. Says you. Got a main deck disenchant. Look at that. Tamio. Jace the Mind Sculptor. True Name Nemesis. Time Walk. Oh, their deck looks good. Timely Reinforcements and Balance. Time Twister. They have Time Twister and Time Walk. Oh, time for Twister fudge sake, dude. What? Time Twister doesn't seem that great in their deck. You don't seem that great. Wow. 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 And they have Jace Rune's Prodigy to, to do the flashback Time Walk again, just like our previous opponent. Our opponent said, ha, 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 ha. I don't understand. <laughs> Doing attacks is scary. It'll mill you. Just die to it. Do they have that? I don't think that's no. in the cube. It's not. It's not. They only have like, three fixing lands, right? Needle Spires, Spire Bluff Canal, and Volcanic Island. Like, that's not very many. No, well, they got there. I guess they're just ha they just have white for Nahiri. Timely Reinforcements, Balance, and Disenchant, which is weird. Timely Reinforcement and Disenchant do not seem worth messing up the mana base. Balance is also kind of... All those cards seem kind of iffy, except for the... Uh, except for the Nahiri. But Nahiri getting Nullamog still seems pretty good. Snowfade. 
there is some serious Praetor discrimination in this cube. You got you got Aleshnorn and you got Shieldred, but then no one else. They weren't good enough. Jin is brutal in in limited. You don't want to have to draw seven cards every turn. You'll be dead in three turns. Oh, uh, the sand seems good. I will keep. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it might be. I wish we could find a way to discard this guy. Yeah, Ulamog could be a 1-1. The power and toughness is completely irrelevant. You're just exiling their library. Oh, I didn't see Scroll Rack. Where was Scroll Rack? Oh, it's down there by Worn Power Stone. I, too, have a 2-mana Artifactio. Artifaccio. Meh. Yeah, whatever. Also, if you guys haven't done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton, and you guys get free Twitch Primes, and subscribers get access to the sweet Discord channel, so make sure you connect your Discord and Twitch accounts. And you get to support the channel, because that's cool, right? We stream, like, every day, dude. It's every day, bro. And you I'll get these... Tomorrow. You get these sweet Jake, Jake Paul memes. It's every day, bro. I'll be streaming every day tomorrow. Every day and one day tomorrow? You know what I said. I did. I just didn't really... doesn't really make sense. You know what I'm saying. I, I have no idea. You know. I don't. I don't know anything. You, yeah, I know that. <laughs> Dang it. You get wrecked, nerd. Get Rex snurred. Called that dude a snurred. What's that mean? Yeah, you know. I don't. One day. One day. But are you positive? What does that mean? I hope you still have time for church. Hey, bro. My merch is selling like a god church. <laughs> what is this? Nahiri or Chandra? It's gotta be Chandra. Or it's gotta be Nahiri because you ain't got that. You ain't got that Chandra mana, brah. Oh, here we go. Reveal the artifacts. Cast a Mog. Oh, it's just literally you're just gonna mind slaver. Just cast mind slaver, sure. What's going on here? Make your decision. Make your choice. I've changed my mind. Because you played burb four times? What does that mean? What's a burb? What is, is a burb? Like a bird? Is that a bird? Is a burb a bird? Yeah, you got it. That my island. That's so bad. Tammy was pretty good. I agree. We do not interact with the planeswalker. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You got it. Because it's a you, babe. Putting these artifacts back on my library. What are you doing over here, man? You messing with things? Collecting some ants. What? No, the ones that were here. I put them in the cup so I could... Nice. I was wondering I where they went. Them, so. <laughs> I keep touching them. Stop touching my ants. I keep looking around. I'm not seeing it anymore, so that's good. They might be sleeping, though. Taking a little snooze? Yeah, a little scoo scoos. All right, I'm going to tap this in response, make them go to next combat if they want to do some shenanigans. Babe, I love you. Mike, I'm leaving. I must be on my way. All right. That's Every cool. opponent has time walk tonight. They sure do.
This is very strange. I don't know what's happening right now. They have two cards in hand. We know one is a Mind Slaver. Tamio hops up to eight. Hopping on up, hopping on up. All right. That's aggressive. This guy's not a legal target, right? No. Okay. It didn't even let me cast it. It wasn't even like, you can't. Don't even try. I know how to get rid of ants easily if you want to know. Oh, if you want, if you want my secret. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear I'll your trick. Tell. Let's hear your ant trick. Since we're on the internet, I actually don't know if this is going to be a troll or not. What does Hozier even look like? I don't even know what that dude looks like. Yeah, that guy looks pretty much how I'd expect him to look. He looking like a man. What? He looking like a man. Does he? I think I tap my signet now. Dang. So your real two artifacts, which are the two cards in your hand. Oh, all right. You can't activate it this turn, which is okay. Unless you're not casting that. There you are. Okay. So you have one card in hand. You have no cards in hand. Yeah, I'm just going to skip this game. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Top deck worm call can't cast it. Sure. Find oh. out where they're coming in and put a berry or cinnamon. Cinnamon? I've heard cinnamon. I've heard salt. I've heard all kinds of things, man. The problem is I can't tell where they're coming in from. Billy Slams, you now get to be in the next YouTube video. Congratulations. We haven't drawn Hostage Taker once. That's interesting. That is a little interesting. Shut up, Michael. No. Michael, shut your mouth. Never. You're not my real dad. Aren't I? Oh, we do have a Rex Sage. Which I actually like a lot here. Quick. I'll take Mesmer for you now for that guy if I have to. Oh, that is actually really good. I like that. That's good tech. We got Wooded Foothills to get the Bayou. Woody Footy. Old Wood So Foots. We also have Hostage Taker, which steals something, too, so that's pretty cool. We also haven't been able to draw a Grave Titan, either, so. He's just not in our deck. Well, this is literally a blank now. It literally gets nothing. Hmm. Kind of feels mulligan -y. Well, we already have six cards. Is a six-card hand going to be better than these six? Probably. Okay, whatever. Oh boy, that's rough. Oh, I leave. Never come back. Nahiri, Jace, Doretti. And, oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Take that, Jace, when you have all blue sources. That's pretty good. And we can reanimate Jace. Oh, that's pretty good too. All right, now we got a now we got a game. Maybe, maybe. Here's a mountain. I drew a mountain off the. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's total blue source. You have mono blue sources and a red and a double uh, double colored card. Let me a search for Azkanta. That's probably not getting cast anytime soon. Yeah, if you flip it, opponent gets it. Wow. Must be nice. Uh, 
Oh, we got the Ulamog and the Metal Worker. Seems good. Not bad. We got a Chandra. I drew a mountain. I'm going to play my mountain. Congratulations. Yeah, a hostage taker does not work that way. Nothing works that way when it comes to True Name Nemesis. It's a very fun and interactive magic card. False. A land here would be good. So your draws have been True Name Nemesis, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Mountain. Okay. Seems good. Must be nice. Well, yeah, and this is the bad part about Cube. Like, if your opponent just draws their extremely powerful broken cards before you do, then you're just like, okay, well, you got me. Yeah, true name being designed for commander is much different because then any other player can kill it. Whereas, like, in a 1v1 game, well, that's pretty good. Oh, they let me keep it. Not a good sign. I have to assume it's either a six drop or a land. Okay. You gonna respond to this? Scroll rack is at Signet Island. I guess we'll just cast this. If only a hostage taker could take planeswalkers. That's the world I want to live Oof, in. That'd be good. Apparently they won't be held hostage by you. Look, I drew a white source. Now I can play Nahiri. Nope. Island again. Alright, so we need to still have these three cards in your hand until you brainstorm with Jace. Nope, still gonna still gonna still gonna look at me, huh? Alright, seems good. Put it on the bottom. Okay. They could literally Jace us for seven turns. So we, like if we play uh Scarab God, they can just bounce it for seven turns in a row. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, a time walk. Seems good. These have been some uh, some good draws. Oh, you mean the, t the fact that they literally top deck True Name Nemesis, Jace, and Time Walk in the past three turns? I agree. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, seems good. Man, it's unfortunate. This definitely felt like a stronger deck, but guess you got me. And their Shelldock Isle is online, so. Yep. Jace is at nine. Oh, I left a card on top, huh? Okay. Oh, you got your second mountain. How oh, nice. And a Duretti. So these theoretically should be the two cards in your hand. I guess Mind Slaver. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> yeah, yeah, sure it is. You let's draw ultimate price. Interesting. I mean, this game's super over. It doesn't really matter, but. That is weird, though. Sack an artifact, return one to the battlefield. Yeah, you have no artifacts in the graveyard or. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Oh, you thought hostage taker was non land permanent? That would be insane. Ooh. Oh my god. Hostage taker would be. Really good. So it's an Apparently Oblivion Ring for one more mana that you can cast the card off of? Yeah, in blue-black. Gross.
yeah, I feel like this game is over. It's all good. I mean, Jace the Mind Sculptor is true name nemesis, and they got a free Consecrated Sphinx after drawing a Time Walk. I, yeah, I just can't beat that. It's with, too good. With my standard cards. Your hand was pretty slow. What do you even get with this guy? Sure. You just copy true name nemesis. One thousand percent true name, right? Like you're probably gonna want to copy Glenn Linger, but I think it's one thousand percent true name nemesis. Yeah, Glenn Linger kind of locks the game out for us. So does double true name nemesis. I mean, that's already a six turn clock, right? I guess making it. Now it's a three turn clock, clock yeah. though. True. Man, they're really holding on to this this Nahiri here. You okay, man? Sound like you're going to vomit. I'll do that later. Okay. I feel like we just pass in order to dig through time here. I just don't know if there's any set of plays that gets us back in this game. I don't either. But we get to dig. That's cool. I like digging. I like digging. We could also sacrifice this counter a spell, and then before the persist trigger resolves, we can dig it out through time and delve it. Ooh. You know, in case we have to do that. If we have to counter something and still want to delve, like... Oh, look, it never knows this. Why don't you bring that back? That'd be sweet. That's nice. I still have a Jace, but... Yeah, Jace is pretty good. I mean, maybe if we reanimate their Consecrated Sphinx? No, they still have double true name nemesis. Yeah, we just can't beat that. I don't think we have anything in our deck that even beats that, is the problem. No, we don't. I mean, I could say, like, Gristlebrand or Wormcoil, but they have a Jace on five, so they can just bounce those things. Which is super frustrating. You know, bounce this. I guess they want to resolve something. All All right. I mean, they're probably just going to go Snapcaster Time Walk, so. Yeah, Deluge is an option. We just don't have that card, so I don't know <laughs> what that's going to do. I mean, I'm not saying I don't know cards that deal with them. Damnation deals we with them. Like, we just we don't, don't have, have them, them yeah. so I don't know how that. They're not in our deck. You got it, Topperino. Hmm. I mean, you still have this in your hand. You're probably just going to play it next turn. Oh, good. You put a counter spell on top. Do you even have a counter spell? Like, what counter spell do you have? Sure. Okay, you got it. Yep, that'll do, pig. All right, unfortunate. Draft portion was still super fun. Uh, went one two with the deck. I felt like the deck was actually better than it was. Uh, we got paired up against a lot of time walks and a lot of uh, recurring time walks. Unfortunately, also a lot of consecrated sphinxes. So and that was unfortunate, but uh, yeah, still fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't done so, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube, and I'll see you next time.